So, um, for this video, the title is Hamster Tag and National Pet Day. Now, last night I was had a really weird, kind of funny slash serious dream. So, let's start with the dream first. Um, so I had a dream last night. If you hear any noise, it's my hamster. We got a new cage and not a new um pet, but a new cage. I'll show you in a second. But if you see me on my very first channel, Amy may not my other one, but my very first one where I had like 50 subscribers or something. So I'm hacked into that as well. And I changed the password and changed my phone number and stuff. And my email and stuff like the same happened to Jim Chapman with his um with his Snapchat. They hacked into his Snapchat and like they're sending snaps and all. Um I don't know what. But I follow him and I don't want to unfollow him. Um, but he they changed his phone number and they hacked in and stuff. Um, but yeah. Um, sorry, I'm just really distracted from the hamster. Anyway, so um, yeah, back to the dream. So I had a really serious dream last night where I was playing with my hamster, like not in real life, but I, in my dream I was playing with my hamster. I was just like, is it nat National Pet Day? Because there's like national Daughter's Day, as in like National Kids Day. There's like Mother's Day and Father's Day and like Valentine's Day and stuff and Easter and stuff. So I was just like, what about National Pet Day? So I haven't looked it up. What I what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to look it up now to see um if it's actual if it's actually like real. Um. So no one's looked it up. So I'm the first one to look it up. So no, so Oh so there is it's called National Pet Month um for people in USA um and the US and so but it's actually National Um Pet Day so I haven't looked it up. National Pet Day and it is about after the success of National Pet Day last year, this is um, in 2012, so I haven't looked it up. National Pet Day last year, we will once again celebrate the joy that our lovely furry friends bring into our lives. Wait a second. I'm actually going to read it to you guys. But there is a really sad reason behind why this day is being set up in the first place. With around 1-6 travel over pets dying in the US shelters on a daily basis. Um that adds up to six hundred and sixty seven animals an hour. Think about all the things you buy, shoes, bags, coffee, all the things that are unnecessary when you think about the change that you would make by forging one of these things to donate money to help these poor helpless animals instead. Just think, if one million people in America donated one dollar a month, that's twelve million dollars raised altogether. Such little elf uh, such little effort with maximum results. So there actually is so what I thought it was was like when you just like when you just like um start like just spent any day with your pets and stuff and just Thank to yourself that you bought them because I know that if we, if I did not beg my nanny to buy the food, then I don't know what I'd do without her and stuff. Like, she's just a little cute thing in my life. So, yeah. Um, anyway. So, turns out that I was like, do you ever get that whenever you're thinking of something and you think that you made it up, but you didn't, and you look it up and you're like, whoa, I didn't even look that up. But anyway, so the hamster tag. So, there's something called the, um, like the, the pet tag or. On what it's called. Let me see. What's it called? Oh, the furry friend tag. I did one of on my other channel. It was called Amy May. And it was my very first um, YouTube channel. And anyway, so um, yeah. Um, so if anyone, like, on my, like, way first channel, like, the type of in it, it would just be the first one up there, 
but if, if it says, oh, you mean like, like this photo, like this is like the last art, that is not me. If it's like uploaded a video that I liked or something, it's not me. So please unsubscribe, please subscribe to that one. And also, my other channel, my other anime one, where it's really different, where I said, you guys unsubscribe to that one as well, because someone has hacked into that one. So, yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to be very friend tag with um, my hamster. So, I actually want to show you her right now. She's, like, she's been so adorable. And, yeah, she's, this is the key. <laughs> Like where she probably can try to get her food. Um, you can kind of see her. This is this is her. She's the blind bit there. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna show you what this does. So this is the bottom bit which you come down and play with a little wheel. Um, let me okay. So so this is the bit where you're gonna sort of some food and the wheel is, and then through this little tube here. She would come through the tube and then little thing, like, well, how do you get that out? If you have one of these, don't pull it that way or pull it that way. You have to, like, turn it sideways and pull it out to put more water in it. But yeah. Like, oh, now I need to put it back in and there's a little, like, hole. Okay, there we go. And then, beside that, if she doesn't want to get any water, what she does is she goes to get water and then she, like, that's put together a bit. Okay, so um, she goes to get some water and then she like goes up this kind of tree here. So she goes up the tree here. Oh yeah, here is like where you would just like where you would just like open it. Where you would just like open it here so you can put in the stuff. Um, and then here is just like where you can like you can like. Get the you put some food into that and stuff. Um, so just um, oh, locked in. Okay. So don't worry. There's like little things here where she just looks up at me. So yeah, she comes up to this tube here and there's like here there's like a little um window here where she comes out and looks at it. There's like something like holding it in here. And up here, there's no lock down here. Um, she's only went in this in like the past five minutes since I've started making this video. Um, so, Brownie's cage and the hamster is in Brownie's cage. Anyway, so the reason I haven't told you the name is because, um, the hamster tag. So, um, she comes up here and there's no fluff down here because obviously this is like a small bit of area and there's the wheel and the feeds all down here. So, yeah. And then it'd be better for her because when she knows if there's fluff down here, she'll always stay in here and sleep. So she knows, like, um, like be exercised for. Her. So she goes up in this wheel, and where she's she's actually sleeping here. So there's lots of fluff in there. And don't worry, here there's like little little. she wants food and all and then just yeah so let's get on with the next bit of the video so i obviously can't if right she's wanting to sleep so i don't want to disturb her so first question you've already seen her so what is your pet's name my pet's name is called fluffy um so yeah um what kind of pet is it and what breed um, I actually know this one like off my heart just by looking at her. Um, she's obviously a hamster, and she is a Siri Syrian hamster or siren hamster. It's Syrian, I think. How long have you had your pet friend? Well, I've had Fluffy for about a year and a half now. Um, so yeah. How did you get your pet? Well, funny story actually. Me and my nanny were walking home from the shop. And we were like, we have a pet shop near our house. And, um, what do you call it? We're like, Nanny, can we get a hamster? 
and I was just and she was like, no, but what about the cat and stuff? And she should get to it. So I was just like, oh, maybe next time. So then we got near the pet shop, she kept on looking in, she was like, anyway, if there's any hamsters in here, you can have one. Um, so there was a hamster in there and she brought it, she said we got to bring her home. Um, and it was actually a good thing, it was like a tenner, so a hamster, if we bought the hamster on our own, it would have been thirty pound. Um, but all together with the big with a big massive cage. Not this one, but it was a big like massive cage like that. Um, the reason why we got rid of the other one was because she didn't have her babies in this one, obviously, because we only got today. But she had a litter of five babies um five weeks ago and they're all gone now. Um but there was a video on this shirt about the hamsters. But we've kept we've kept one so far because we're giving it to one of my um one of my best friend Nikia Hart's brother, um, Greg. So we would don't think you'd mind me saying his name. So, um yeah, we're keeping that for him, like for when it comes time to and to see him and all, and then he's gonna take it because it's already done its cage. Um, but I think Fluffy's a bit angry at me. Anyway, back to the story. So, like, how did I get him? Well, um, so like if we got the pet, if we got Fluffy on our own, should have been thirty uh, quid. But all together with the big massive cage, um, it was um ten quid because we got Fluffy because we didn't have a cage, you know. Jimmy said, okay, we'll give you the food, the straw, the like, um, the whole cage and the the fluff and the hamster and all for 10 quid. And I was just like, wow, it's really, really, really good. And I had 10 pounds. So I saved that. Um, on, I was just like, do you want nanny? Whenever we did go to the shop, I was like, nanny, give me 10 pounds. I was just like, nanny, I want to see the next time I go to the shop. So whenever I found out it was 10 quid, I bought it. I was like, nanny, can I get this? And she said, yes, you can get it. But, um, we actually found out that Polly, my dog, and Tipsy, well, she was had to be put down. But anyway, they were actually okay with her because I remember Harry Bethany, my sister's um my sister's hamster, walked was just walking out of its cage because it gets like a Houdini. Um it just walked out of its cage and we kept him in the cupboard because um it was nice and warm in the cupboard where all the heat is. Um, so we put all the hamsters in there, two hamsters in there, that's before she had her first litter of like, puppies, like, of little hamster puppies, um, I think she had 11, so yeah, get away from the hamster babies, um, but he would get out of his cage and he would shove all of the fluff in his mouth, he wouldn't swallow anything, he would shove all of the fluff in his mouth, and he in the back of the cup of all the tubes are, it keeps it nice and warm, it's not burning or anything, but it's just nice and warm, it just heat comes off of it, he would, Put the fluff in his mouth and he would go to like the back of the cupboard in like the wee corner bit and he'd put all of the food like all nice and he would get like water um the actual water tube and he'd stick it to the wall and he would put the food nicely and he would get the fluff and put it on the thing so we actually just like so whenever we lifted them out and put them back in the cage he would do the exact same thing and so we kind of just lived in the back of the cupboard but now he just lives in his cage properly now so but one time we seen him just walking out of his cage like all just like this here and tipsy like the cat just turned around and seen it and she just sat down like she looked like she was going to pounce we were like definitely get the hamster quickly but she just she just sat there and just watched it and we did think she was going to pounce but she didn't she just walked away from it and we just kept on watching to see if she was going and she came in running and she was running to get her own water and we were just like whoa and she just walked on and Polly rat, done the same thing but she didn't touch her it was just really weird, but Fluffy always stays in her cage and stuff. But yeah. Um, how old is your pet? We don't know. We got her as a baby, not a little tiny thing. We got her like when she was the same size. She was just a little bit smaller. But I think we got her when she was like a couple of weeks old. I don't know. What are some quirky things about your pet's personality? Well, what she likes to do is. In her other cage, she had like a little, like, see my EOS here? It was like a little bit big. I'm trying to see if it's something that's about the same size as it. Um, let's see. Okay, so this, okay. We'll just take all this stuff off. So this, this was like, it had like a hole in it. It was like bunched out like that. Had little things in it. And whenever you went to the top of it, like, she couldn't get out of anything. 
whenever you went to the top of it, she would scratch her little nails and all and go and kind of like bite the case and she back at it. And she'd just, whenever you blow at her and she'd just go like that for her just to try and kiss you back. And whenever you, like, I'll go into the lifter, whenever you go to lift her, you're like, come here, Fluffy. She runs, she like jumps like that. And her two little paws, whenever you put your like fingers like this, she puts her two little paws on top of it and she just like crawls up your hand. She's just so cute. And whenever you go like that, she's like like a dolphin. Whenever you go like that, she just rolls over and she's like a proper dog. Whenever you go like that, she just sits down and just lies down and stuff and she's so cute. Whenever I go like that, she just goes to sleep. She's so adorable. Um Where are you, mate? I'm doing a video. What does your relationship with your pet mean to you? Everything. Um, what are some of your favourite pastimes with your pet? Funny thing, whenever we first got her, I did a video of her in her cage. I used to lift her out. She ran underneath the sofa. When I was like, Fluffy, come on. She came out and just went back in the cage. It was so funny. And when I, my favourite pastime is, um, like, whenever I her back in the cage whenever I was doing my video like on my very first channel on like my night routine and my furry friend tag and stuff um I forgot to close the cage door and I read all the comments on it and they said I forgot to close the cage door where is the hamster and stuff and um like that was like whenever I got her back but I got to close the cage door I was so tired and I wanted to end up my video and whenever I woke up the next day I, I like felt something like clang on to me and then I looked down and her brother was just lying on me and she was just so cute. She never runs away. And then the last one is You're right again. What are the nicknames you call your pet? Yeah, we were just doing sitting there. I'm doing a video. Hello there. Pizza. Hello there. Hello there. The hamster food. Um, what are the nicknames you call her? I call her like Fluff, even though her name is Fluffy, but and I just call her like like Fluffy Bum, and like I just call her like my little baby. And she's just so like adorable and stuff. Um. Anyway, so another thing I'm going to do before I stop this video is I'm going to do the the ten things you don't know about me tag. Um. So yeah. So, what is your favourite season? Well, it's a super difficult like question to answer, but like, cause I kind of like all of them, but I'm ha I have to go with summer, because like I love the summer, like and the sun and stuff, and it's just like I like to go like swimming and like just hanging outside and all, but um, like I think winter, not winter, but I think like autumn would have to be my worst one because like, whenever the leaves fall down we have a lot of trees in our street whenever all the trees like fall like all the leaves fall down off the tree it's like yeah um like it just makes a lot of mess and stuff so yeah and like you know that the winter no one gets really cold oh yeah sorry um what's your favorite book I've actually got it here. Um, I'm almost finished reading it. I'm on like the page here. I'm almost finished it and I'm loving it. It's the girl online Zoe Sips, uh, Zoe Sug and I just love it so much. Do you have any annoying habits? Yeah, like uh, please do this like bite my nails and stuff I just don't really like doing it anymore. But yeah. Eating out or ordering in. I don't really know because it's not my um like not my really my like not really my hmm, not really my choice. What was the last thing um you did before doing this video? Um, like, 
Like, doing my kids. So. Favorite article of clothing, I would have to like say that no, not jeans or blue black legs and stuff. If you could only take two item if you could only take two items of makeup where would you will really trip what would they be? I'm gonna have to say I'm gonna have to say like lip gloss and my EOS stuff. No, not my lip gloss, my EOS and my my eyes. Okay. Do you have any pet? Yes, I do. I have um in the house. Like in the house, we have. In the house we have Fluffy, Hi, We have six pets in the house. There's Fluffy, there's Harry, her boyfriend that had the baby, like these babies. There's one of her other kids like from ages ago, which is Fudge. He's, he lives with us. And then there's the baby she had recently. And then there's Lola, our dog, and Polly, our dog. But my pets would it would be um Fudge, Fluffy, and Lola. Like my pets. Pets. So, do you have any toys, stuffed animals, um, like from your babyhood that you still keep? In um, no, not really. Where would you like to see yourself this time next year? I think I would like to see myself like um this time like this time um today um last year I started doing my very first YouTube video so I would say I would like to see like my YouTube like subscription like progress like so yeah I would love to see that. Anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching and I guess I will see you